Hello, my name is Mary Arrow, and today we are going to be discussing the voting laws within Wisconsin. The area size of the state is about 65,498 square miles. The capital of Wisconsin is in Madison, and these cities are divided into wards throughout Wisconsin. Each ward has a polling place for its residents. Wisconsin has a population of 5,822,434 people, which more than half of this population is of voter age. Either by voting in person or absentee ballot, Wisconsin voted Republican in the 2016 election of Trump versus Clinton, winning by 22,748 votes. Other votes consisted of minor parties such as Libertarians that received little more than 100,000 votes. Now to be eligible to vote in any election, you must first register as a resident of at least 28 days within the state of Wisconsin. If this time is not met, then you are required to vote at your previous residence through absentee ballot or at the polling place. However, for the presidential election, a person who has not been a resident for at least 28 days can vote in Wisconsin. There are many ways to register to vote, either through online, mail, in person, or on election day. Both online and mail-in registrations have to be done 20 days before election. Online registration only requires a driver's license, while mail-in requires any proof of residence except for a residential lease to be sent into the municipal clerk or brought in yourself after being mailed the form. To register in person, you would have to go to your local municipal office up until the Friday before election and provide a proof of residence. These proofs of residence include almost any legal document that has your name on it, such as your driver's license, hunting license, bank statement, and more. Proofs of residence do not require a photo ID. If someone wants to vote on election day without doing the previous stated methods, they are able to register at their polling place the day of the election. Once a person's registered to vote with their proof of residence, they then have to search which ward they live in. They can find this on myvote.wi.gov. All they need to enter is their address and the nearest polling office will be assigned to them. A new law has recently been added to Wisconsin where photo ID is needed in order to receive a ballot. The state does provide free state IDs. However, you can use your driver's license, student ID, or passport, and they must be in date. Any expired identification will not be accepted. Exceptions to this law is if your religion does not allow photos to be taken of you, where the state then will issue you a residence card that does not contain your image. If you cannot make it to an in-person voting, you could request a mail-in ballot on Wisconsin's voting website or by mail, which does not require any reason you cannot make it to a polling place. A certificate of authenticity must be signed by the voter and the voter's witness with the witness's address as well. Once you complete the ballot, you could drop it off at your clerk's office. To drop off your ballot or vote in person absentee, your clerk might provide you with a drop box, an appointment, or other in person absentee voting locations, such as a local library. You could also mail your ballot back to the clerk's office with a government paid envelope found within the given absentee voter letter mailed to you. You must mail back your ballot or drop it off in the in person seven days before election.
Wisconsin also has people convicted for felonies and are currently serving their sentence, including supervision, probation, or parole, are not able to vote in any election. However, once they complete their sentence and are no longer under any type of surveillance, their right to vote is restored. To put everything together, Wisconsin has polling places throughout their cities and divisions called wards. To be able to vote in any election other than the presidential election, you must be a resident for 28 days. If the election is for a president, your time of residency does not matter, but you still must register to vote within the state. The registration process includes in-person, at a municipal office, online, mail-in, or on election day. Deadlines to register span from 28 to 30 days before an election, unless you register the day of the election at the polling office. You must show proof of your residency to register and show photo ID the day of voting. Once registered, you could vote at the polling office or absentee ballot. A reason for why you request an absentee ballot is not needed, but it does require your signature and a witness signature along with their address. When voting, a photo ID is required. However, there are exceptions if it relates to religion. They are then issued a state ID card that has their name on it, but contains no photo. People serving sentences as a convicted felon are not able to vote, but do regain their right once their sentence is over. For more information on how to vote within Wisconsin, you can visit myvote.wi.gov where you can find upcoming election dates, ballot tracking services, polling office, and more general information.